Hello, this is the agriculture themed TaraWorks demo aimed at highlighting key features by showing a flow of three jobs. So for this scenario, I'm Gordon the field agent and I work for an organization that helps cocoa farmer increase yield. The overall process is that I'll register a farmer on the first visit. I'll then provide training on pruning on the second visit. And finally, on the third visit, I'll monitor their results. Today, I meet Mary in the Nairobi group. She's not doing bad, but would like to do better to put her children in better schools. I'm going to register her in our system. Here, I'll start the first job, register Cocoa Farm. So, as the field officer, I'll begin by indicating that Mary belongs to the Nairobi Farm Group. Then, I'll proceed with this survey. I'll need to record the location of a farm using GPS. Next, let's record some basic information. Notice that if I try to continue without entering the required information, it would let me know. Standard question types, such as single select and dates, reduces chance of error. Moving on to farm information, we're interested in cocoa farm size and the number of trees. Notice that a numpad will automatically appear for number of questions. You can also set maximum and minimum ranges for number of questions to avoid errors. You can also add help text in order to help your field officer to understand what units they should be entering in, for example. And that's it. Everything done here so far can be done offline. I'm going to save this job as complete and then sync later when I have a signal. I now have signal, so I'll perform a sync. The sync is complete. The information has now been sent to the server and I can check against my weekly goal of registering four new farmers this week. Back in the office, you'll be able to see Mary's information through your computer's browser. No extra equipment is needed. Here, you can see the individual fields of the record we have created, as well as information in the aggregate. With a couple of hours of one-time setup in Salesforce, you'll be able to see a map and dashboard of all the data segmented in any way you choose. Let's see other features of TaraWorks. I'm going to return to Mary and give her information on pruning. This will require me to do the second job on my list. The job that I'll be doing has three tasks in it. Now as Mary is already in the system, what I can do is to drill down the levels like a directory in order to find her. This screen is the output of a few data tasks. This empowers me to see the information I need for my job. Side note, you might have noticed that we never entered this number. It was calculated in the back end and provided to the mobile user. Now I'll start my training with a video. When you create a job with a few resource tasks, my Android device would download a copy for offline viewing later. Let's fast forward through this video. Here we have the third task to collect more data. This time I'll start with the test questions for Mary. Later, you'll be able to see how good of a job I've done from her test scores. I'm going to take a before picture then get Mary to commit to a day to finish pruning by and have her sign for it. So she's writing on the touch screen with her finger. Again, I'll sync when I have connection. Sync time will vary depending on the volume of data and speed of the connection. Once I've synced, you in the office will have excellent information on how each of your field officers are doing and which one of your farmers needs special attention. Uh-oh. Looks like my training didn't go so well with Mary. You might need to speak with me later. When job 2 was built, we set it up in such a way that a pruning log would be created whenever that is complete. And here you can see the photo I have taken, as well as the target pruning date and her signature. Now, Mary has committed to finish pruning her 3,400 trees by June, so let's check in with her a month later and see how she do. 
It is now June and you've sent me to meet with Mary one more time. So this means I need to do the third job on my list. As before, when I start the job, I can drill down through the directory, or the object hierarchy as we call it, in order to find the record I'm working with. So I'm just going to locate Mary here, and there is the pruning log that I've created last time. Again, I can view the selected fields of the record I have drilled down into. Wow, Mary did an awesome job. I definitely got to take a picture and collect some information to send back. Notice how some of these questions are pre-filled. Now, one of the advantages of TaraWorks is that by using drill down, you don't need to manually enter identification codes, which can lead to errors. So this is done in June. Going to collect some other information, such as which tools that they use and who has done the pruning. In this case, Mary did it with the help of her cousins. Now, I want to take an after picture, and then I'm done, so I'm going to send this back. As an aside, there are also barcodes and date time question types. You can also set certain questions to repeat as well. Once the sync is done, you in the office or on the beach can now see the updated record. Let's take a look. Ah, yes, much better. Training has definitely paid off. We can also see that in the dashboard, that the farmer under Gordon has completed pruning on time. As a bonus, you could actually tell Salesforce to email this to specific people at set intervals. Now, as for the actual detailed steps on how to build surveys, jobs, and reports, TaraWorks and Salesforce both comes with documentation and tutorial videos. But just to show a glimpse of how easy it all is, let me take you through a few screens. Here's a screen where you build a job with the three types of tasks. And here's the survey builder pages, where you can add questions by clicking and dragging. At the Logic tab, you can set logics to control when questions should be skipped. And here is the field mapping page. This is the key part where you set which records that would be created or updated in your database. Finally, let's go back to Dashboard and Reports. Clicking any of these charts on the dashboard will take you to the underlying reports where you can customize it by clicking and dragging the fields that you want to do analysis on. Here are the fields on the left side, and whenever you want to report on it, simply drag the number in and you'll be able to change what is displayed. Absolutely no coding is required for this. Thank you very much for watching this TaraWorks demo.